Imagine one day you start seeing your feet swell and you're like, weird. Then you start to see that swelling extend up to your ankles, up to your calves, and then up to your thighs. Now imagine simultaneously that you start to have a little bit more difficulty breathing. It starts off at night when you try to lay flat in bed and you need several pillows just to breathe properly. Then over time you notice, hey, it's even extending to when I'm walking, just even a few steps, I can't breathe. This condition is what they call fluid overload and it's one, one of the most common reasons for admission to a hospital in the United States. On today's episode, what is fluid overload? What's up, San Antonio and world? I'm Dr. Kasim Butt, and I'm a kidney doctor. I'm here to break down health in a simple way. Do me a favor, hit that like, share, and subscribe button. It'll really help me out. Fluid overload is defined as having too much water or fluid in the body. The typical sites for water accumulation are, are typically in the, in the legs, causing swelling, or in the lungs, causing shortness of breath. Fluid overload is also one of the main reasons people get admitted to the hospital in the United States. It's actually not only one of the main reasons you get admitted, but also readmitted. Meaning, patients with fluid overload get admitted to the hospital, get sent home, then within 30 days, oftentimes have to come back for the same symptoms. The cause of these admissions is usually the failure of one of these three organs, the heart, the liver, or the kidneys. And it's because these three organs help play that balance of fluid in the entire body. Now, the kidneys are responsible for not only filtering and cleaning our blood, but also getting rid of the excesses, excess fluid we drink in the form of urination. As kidney disease worsens, however, this ability to make that urine goes down. This is particularly true for patients on dialysis who have end-stage kidney disease because they don't urinate much anymore, and the dialysis session represents the only time of the week that they actually can remove fluid from the body. The liver is actually another organ that's responsible for filtering the blood, but it also produces a, a vital protein called albumin. This protein, albumin, acts like a sponge, keeping all fluid in the places they're supposed to be. In liver failure or liver cirrhosis, albumin is not produced as much, which allows fluid to deposit in places it's not supposed to be. Now the heart is a pump, okay? It's the pump that moves blood and fluid all around your body. If heart failure develops, the pump weakens, okay? And fluid because of that gets backed up in your legs and in your lungs. Now, these types of failures can occur alone or in combination, like all three at the same time. Unfortunately, because of the prevalence of obesity, diabetes, and high blood pressure, which affects all of these organs, the prevalence of, of these types of failures is actually going up as well. So if you start to see symptoms of shortness of breath or leg swelling, you may want to contact your doctor to get these organs checked out. If your kidneys are working, your doctor could prescribe you uh, a diuretic, which is a fluid pill, which will actually make you pee more and remove that fluid. If you're someone whose kidneys aren't working anymore and you're on dialysis, your doctor could prescribe um, removing more fluid off of dialysis to, uh, to get that fluid off of you. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it. Oh, you got something to say? Please leave comments in the comment section below. And remember, it's your kidneys, your health.